This is the story of my longest surgery and the closest I've come to quitting medicine. As per usual, I come in early to consent patients from my boss's operating list. I'm hoping it's a quick day because it's also my birthday and I've got dinner planned with my parents. I check the operating list and there's only one case, a pelvic exenteration. Happy days, just one case and I get to go home early. How wrong I was. It's 9am and as we're scrubbing in, my boss turns to me and says, hope you've had your breakfast, lunch and dinner because we're going to be here for a while. I quickly found out a pelvic exenteration was not quick. It involves removing the rectum, part of the colon, bladder and basically basically everything else in the pelvis. Six hours in, I'm feeling a bit faint. I didn't have any breakfast, rookie error. I'm also dehydrated, but I'm too embarrassed to ask for water, my first mistake. Eight hours in, I think I'm hallucinating. I can hear music. Then realize my boss hates music, so this is definitely in my head. 10 hours in, I need to pee, but my boss seems super focused, so now it doesn't seem like the right time to ask if I can go, so I hold it in. 12 hours in, my legs are starting to seize. My boss says we're almost done, but he said the same thing two hours ago. 14 hours in, I finally break and tell my boss I'm hungry and thirsty. He gets one of the nurses to feed me Haribo under my mask and water through a straw and says that should do you. 14 and a half hours in, we're finally done and in the locker room I briefly evaluate my career choice of surgery. I sit down in the coffee room and start to fall asleep. I look at the clock, it's almost midnight, there's two minutes left of my birthday. Happy birthday to me.